going for a walk around in Central Park. All right. So yesterday didn't really go the way it planned. Um, first of all, I plan to get to New York mid-afternoon and my flight was changed. I think the flight back is also changed. Um, so... <gasps> I had no, no sleep. Um, and then, like, everything is taking way longer than I thought. And also, stunningly, I can't find any place to eat. Um, and it's so cold. It's actually colder here than it is at my house in Maine right now. Um, didn't expect that either. And these colors of these trees. Are awesome. And sorry about the gaps in what I'm talking about because there's a lot of people. Um, so, again, yesterday I left earlier than I planned. Then I didn't eat. And then, um, what did I do? Oh, I went up that. Um, skyscraper thing and that was as close a call getting there because it took so long to get in from the airport don't ask me why um, you know there were delays the subway kept stopping like every five seconds um, so it took like twice as long as, as what normally you would expect this time of year Wonderful. <laughs> Poor kids being forced to take pictures. Uh, um, ooh. What's up there? It's probably the runner's path. Which I was on, going the wrong direction, of course. One way, yeah. I was going the wrong way. I did not see any of those signs when I went up there. Anyway, um, yeah. So I went and got food, which, when I found the place, it was, like, way more than I thought as amount of food, so then I was like, oh. Um, and then, what did I do in the afternoon? Oh, I uh, actually went to my hotel and took a nap, because between... The oh, and I got caught in this crazy storm, uh, which I can't believe how loud the thunder is in the in the subway. Um, but I did. I went. I went back to the to the hotel. I checked in the hotel, and I, I took a nap because I was so so fried, so fried um, from being out. And, you know, everything physically was, again, off because my timing was off. I was eating um, and cold and caught in the rain and everything else. And I, I absolutely needed to recharge. That is highly unusual for me. Uh, usually, when I go on these trips, I'm expecting to just keep moving for 16 hours straight. Um, that didn't happen. I just needed a break, which is a good thing to keep in mind, you know, the self-care thing. Um, but mostly I just needed a break from people. People in New York really don't care. I mean, I'm talking to myself as I'm walking down this pathway here. Um, <laughs> weird, but whatever, it's fine. Um, 
and actually I can't lose track of time because I have uh, time tickets to a museum. Of course I go to a museum, I always go to a museum. Anyway, I woke up, got out, um, I went to a place, did I put up pictures? I think I put up pictures. I've been really good this trip about putting things up immediately. I went to a place called Jekyll and Hyde, which is kind of like Rainforest Cafe, but monster theme with actors who saw me eating by myself and wanted to talk to me. It was weird. And I went to that concert, which I have already gotten a copyright strike on. Um, copyright strike on one that I didn't release. <laughs> uh, the one that I did release is still up, I think. Who knows, if it gets struck, I have to, I mean, it'll be taken out for me and watch all. Um, and can affect my channel. They can eventually rip out your entire channel. I wonder what those are. Um, if you had too many of them. That was an experience. Because it was very small. And the guy was very chatty. And he shook my hand four times. I never asked. He wanted to shake my hand. <laughs> um, I don't know. I can't. I can't explain it. It seems that some people like. I don't know. This is getting like bizarre and swampy. Fifth Avenue with all the Richie houses are right there, and actually that's where I put at the back because that's what the museums are too. Um, this really is something else. Being in this park, I mean, you can hear obviously all the traffic, but no interaction at all, and the fewest people I've had to deal with. Um, again, you know, this past year I've taken a million trips, very short, close to home, over and over, stacked right on top of each other. Headphones up anyway. Oh, thank you. It's not my headphones, it's my charger, but what are See, charger. Uh, <laughs> I'll stick it in my pocket. I mean, I'm going this whole time. That's the first time anybody said anything. This is my kind of place. As opposed to... I don't know. People are more chatty. It's like a police station or something. I might actually have to just turn around. I started to walk up here and then cross over to the street and then walk back to the museum. Um, I really like leaves out here. Okay, let's get back on track. The avoidance. Uh, it was freaky having that musician want to come and interact with me. He like came over and told me this story. Well, mostly because I was like traumatized. Somebody else was talking and said, I swear to God, when you play a Ray Charles song, why don't you close your eyes so that you're more like him? And <laughs> I was like, what? Um, and I think that my reaction of being shocked at that statement made him come over and he told me this story about how he um, <sighs> a way out. I found a way out. This might be right along the street though, let's see. Anyway, of, of, of somebody that he was doing a private party and someone said something terribly racist to him. <laughs> Here. This is different. Uh, 
another side of the park. Away from people. Rock on, I can talk a little louder. So, yesterday was in that big, huge, massive building. These are the buildings I was looking down on. So was there somewhere. See the trees? Anyway, what if like, this guy just came over and started talking to me and telling me this story? And I'm like, oh my god, why am I here? Um, yes, the park precinct. This is cops. Middle of the park. Who knew? I mean, I suppose it's a good place as any to put something. But how is this thing affecting my avoidance? Um, because I just took another trip and I made all these videos being flabbergasted at how being around such a mass of people did not trigger it. As a matter of fact, it made everything better. Um, especially because a lot of the trips I took this year didn't have that effect. The one that Hawaii did, the one that to um, Philadelphia, I remember how nice people are, but basically, no. Oh, do I want to go up these stairs? I kind of do. What's up here? More trees. Ooh, it's a path. I was just walking here. Now I have to be quieter because it's people again. <sighs> Trying to find a way through these super dinky little cars. There's not muddy. Um, I mean, it's counter to everything. And I get, I get the question one. I get, well, when are you gonna move? Because you know, better in cities. Not necessarily. This is a different kind of stress. Like I said, the finding where stuff is and eating it, not having a car, uh, being out in the cold and stuck. I have not run into the bathroom issue yet. I will. <sighs> yeah, I'm trying to find a public bathroom. Um, that's gonna be a problem. This is gonna be you know, I mean, it's a very short time. I couldn't, I've done it. You know, I know what I'm talking about. So, I'm here. I'm talking like an idiot to myself walking down the path. And even that, you saw, I had to go and have the little break down on that street. The fact that I can handle it much, much better does not mean it goes away. It just means it doesn't affect me as badly when I am completely um, sort of isolated. I can talk to people like you and believe if I'm never going to talk to them again. And yet, like I said, uh, that musician who I paid you know, so, I mean, it should have been similar to, um, the effect I have when I go to therapy, which is that paid you, so whatever, um, didn't have that effect, not after, you know, I did the introduction and hi, 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 and then he came back and wanted to talk to me and tell me a story. Mm -mm. Oh, that was very triggering. Um, that I got recognized is not cool. Even in New York, with these millions of people living here, eventually somebody's going to recognize me. And then the effect is gone. In Philadelphia, nobody that I'm aware of recognized me, but I recognized places, and so it was right there. 
the other question I get is why don't I do like permanent travel you know these people that because there are um, the one I like the best is called um, the carpet bagger which is a terrible name um, it used to be better now he's very 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 caught up in the business part of it and keeping up schedule and that sort of thing which I understand I mean it's a business at some point it's a business you've got to make money if you're going to be a permanent traveler you've got to keep people going you got to find places um, that guy finds some really cool places but I think that he doesn't sort of stop and smell the roses enough that it really has become part of I'm going to these places to film them and not even do like touristy type things which is kind of like what I do when I take up like the videos totally separate the pictures I'm sort of like trying to encourage people to go travel on their own I mean it really is sort of like a promotion type thing well I think this is where I can get out go back to the museum yeah this looks familiar I must be near it which means that it's probably time for me to go see it and take lots more pictures um, so no, doing this as like a get on the road and travel all over the place and try to make money off of it, uh, no, <laughs> would not work for me because again, same thing, then I would have repeats. Um, repeats are how you make money doing this. Repeats do not work with somebody with avoidant personality disorder, but... I really think I need to, because I had planned, I had started, which again, y'all have heard it, I have a small Patreon, um, and the point was to do a trip a month. That was the goal, that was the plan, um, it's all set up for that. And, oh, I think I may have overshot. I don't know. I don't know where I am. I'm in the middle of a park in the middle of a city. And I haven't looked at the map. Um, that was the plan, to do it once a month. And I think I need to keep that up. I think that, that plan was good. And I think... I think that doing more frequent trips is actually really helpful and good for me. So even though I love the idea of extended trips because the travel, oh, a little squirrel, better than the last time I was here when there was a giant rat, the, the idea of going on a big trip is great because the travel is kind of killing me, you know. He's just trying to chill in there. Um, and if I go on an extended trip, it's less travel. Like I did this double trip to Denver and then to California. Um, thank goodness, because flying across the country takes like all day. Um, but on the other hand, it would have been better for me to split it up and do it in two trips. And get, I mean, if that's the effect, the, I mean, it's really cool seeing all these new things and doing all these new things, but the, the point is to make things better for me. Make things better for me is more frequent trips. So, that was a good learning thing to learn. Um, you know, and I think that the people who are only happy when they stay home. I mean, you should stay home. Don't try to force yourself to do something like this. Maybe once every couple of years, do a short trip. Just to do a recharge. <laughs> Go and do things that you're really interested in, that you really want to see. And don't do little puddle jumper trips. You know, even going to the grocery store, and you're, you're using that energy. Save it up and do one big thing. Do it 
do whatever you wanted to always do, do it. Um, although I can tell you for sure. Okay, so I'm looking for the Guggenheim, which is kind of obvious. I've definitely gone too far. It's at 89th. Um, because I know somebody who really is a homebody and hates people and hates in crown crowds and it's terrible. Like this sort of thing, this is like more people. Um, they would want to see it in it a week. Even this little bit here. Um, but even that person goes off and does things alone and find places alone. I like the squirrels. The little squirrel sculptures. Um, that's sort of like when I'm doing my hikes. My hikes I do at least weekly, sometimes more than that. Um, but again, that didn't give me enough energy to cope with a larger trip. 84. Going the wrong way. Um, so. Portion it out. Don't waste your energy on, you know, trips to the grocery store if that's burning you up. Um, you know, use delivery services and stuff like that. Um, but also don't put all your eggs in one basket like I was doing. I think that's the point. I mean, Yep, big long trips are awesome. And I'm really looking forward to the one I'm taking next March, which is two weeks in Central America and check another continent off my list. You know, I get a lot of questions about why have you not gone to Australia yet? Um, so I think it was like 10 the first time. I was like, wow, look at that place. Um, it's huge. It's really big. It's not some place where I can do the, you know, like I went to Rome for one weekend. Um, yeah, when I went to Morocco, I loved it. I think it's a one-time deal. It was 26 hours travel each direction. It would be the same. I think it's like 35 hours to get to Australia. I would have to go and like move there for six months or something. You know, I got four cats. That's not happening. I don't think that's happening, even though it's like. It sounds weird to say that's someplace I should go. Oh, and I'm sorry, I'm walking on cobblestones just because they're cool and it, people avoid them and I can be by myself. Um, so I'm sure this is jumpy and bumpy. But that's the type of thing. In the city, there's all these people, and yet I'm avoiding them just by being three feet to the right of where everybody else would prefer to be. I don't have to worry about somebody coming up behind me and that sort of thing. Is somebody overhearing me? Well, I'm giving them their space by being a weirdo. So I'm probably like even more standing out to them, but. Nobody's going to remember me or care. They're never going to see me again. Even if somehow somebody does take notice of me. Even if they're judging me. I'm never going to see them again. I'm never going to hear the judgment. It's never going to bother me. And I don't know why that works. But it does, thank God. Or else I would be completely agoraphobic. I can't interact with people. But... I can be around people and not in. All right, there's the museum. Let's see if I'm too late to actually use my ticket. I don't know. 
bit of time, not Times Square, yeah, of uh, Central Park and uh, what I've been up to and I pop this up and go to the museum and take some pictures. Bye.